Hello and uh, welcome to the Kubernetes Training uh, Channel. This is the fourth uh, part in the introduction series about uh, Kubernetes Manager. What we'll do in this presentation is to uh, recap uh, first uh, the topics we have covered in the first three presentations and then we'll focus on the tools and uh, uh, utilities you can access from Kubernetes Manager to manage your Kubernetes uh, databases. So in the first uh, three presentations, we, um, we show you what is Kubernetes Manager, how to start it, uh, how to log in and start up your, uh, your database. Um, we show you the tables, the views, the system objects. Um, we talk about user administration on, uh, in, in Kubernetes. And in the third presentation, we went into more advanced topics like uh, triggers, store procedures, and unique record identifiers. Let's uh, let's uh, uh, get back to to Kubernetes Manager. I already started Kubernetes Manager client, and I have the demo DB database um, installed on my uh, on my computer. Now, before we take a look at the tools we can access from Kubernetes Manager, please notice that the demo database is not yet started. And this is uh, for the reason uh, that uh, some of the tools you can use to manage your Kubernetes databases can only be executed when your database is stopped. Now, uh, to get the list of the tools, you, we can either use the, the main uh, menu of the Kubernetes Manager client or the simplest way, just right-click on the object, in particular on the DemoDB uh, database. And here is a list of the, the tools we'll talk about uh, today. So we have tools to load and unload a database. Uh, we have tools to backup and restore uh, the database, tools to rename, uh, copy database, and to optimize uh, our database. Let's take a quick look at, uh, at each of uh, uh, these ones. So um, load and unload database, it's all about saving the data which is uh, in your database uh, to some files and then um, get it back in your uh, database. This is the user interface uh, window uh, you get when you um, right click and select unload database. Uh, let's just uh, select uh, a few tables for now. Let's not uh, uh, unload the entire database and then let's uh, uh, keep the default uh, options. So when we do this, uh, the data is taken from the tables we selected. Here are the statistical informations we get. And the data is being dumped in, in files. Um, uh, please uh, uh, do this on your own database and take a look in these files to see how the, the data is actually uh, stored. Now when we need to get the, the data back, we'll select the, the pair operation load database and we will specify the, the, the files which we previously created using the unload uh, tool. Now about uh, backup and restore. I suppose everybody is familiar with the concept of backup and why we need to do regular backups to prevent our database from any accident or uh, just to be able to return at any point uh, in time uh, to a desired uh, snapshot. So this should be quite straightforward uh, to use. You get to specify um, parameters about uh, how you want to, to backup uh, the database and just uh, create the backup. What I want to show in addition to this is that uh, if you go to job automation and uh, select the backup plan, and add a backup plan. Now you can actually automate uh, uh, this kind uh, of database backups. You will just specify when do you want your um, backup to be performed, um, the, the, the exact time when you want it to be done, and Kubernetes will take care automatically for you to perform uh, the backup. So you don't need to, to manually do it every time. This is a great feature. So um, um, please uh, learn about how to, to use uh, such um, job automations in, in terms of doing your, uh, your backups um, for your data. 
Then we go to, to, to tools which uh, allows us to copy our database to a new database, uh, rename uh, our database. Let's just exercise this with our demo DB database. Let's select um, the copy database. So the plan is to take our demo DB database and copied it exactly, including the user credentials, to the DemoDB2 database. We have some extra options to replace or even delete the source database. Let's click OK. We are being asked about the, the directories after the, the, the installation. It went very fast. Here we are. Now the list of databases um, is, being, uh, is being refreshed. And you will see right now that Besides the, the demo uh, DB database we had, now we have the demo DB2 uh, database. And when we log in, we have absolutely the same credentials for the demo DB, so we get an exact replica of, of, uh, of, the, of the database we had. Here we are. And not only this, we can also uh, do a rename of our uh, database. Last uh, things I want to show you now is about these tools which are dealing with optimization of your database. So you can optimize your database uh, storage based on statistical information about how users actually access the data um, in your database. It is recommended of course for uh, databases with high traffic to do this uh, on a periodic um, basis. The same goes with a compact database to avoid um, the fragmentation of the data. And there is another useful tool, check database. So, uh, in cases where an accident uh, might happen and there might be some inconsistencies in your, in your database, this is a tool which not only allows you to check the integrity of your database, but more important, it automatically can repair um, the data in your database. Of course, most of these tools can also be accessed from, uh, from command line, Kubrick Manager client. It's just giving you easy access via uh, a nice user interface uh, to all these things. So, uh, uh, that's about the plan for today. Remember, you can always find more information on the Kubrid uh, on the home site. You can find manuals and even ask for, for community uh, support. So, thank you very much for attending this presentation. Uh, wish you a nice day and uh, be back for more training sessions. Bye-bye.